On the organic side, organic is really quite clear. This is a USDA federally, federally regulated program that has really clear requirements of what you can do, what you can't do, and serious repercussions as well for fraud. <music> question that so many people probably who are also new to this topic don't quite understand or need clarity on which is when it comes to regenerative farming there's i hate the word buzzword i really do especially from a marketing point of view but there's regenerative there's organic there's sustainable can you just bring your knowledge and help clarify what those mean and yeah so so for us bonter organic estates we were really interested in certifying a claim so there's a lot of claims in the world, right? People see that something is trending, something's hot, then everybody's claiming that that's what they are and that's what they're doing, regardless of what it actually means. Um, so, so I think for, for us, it's really important that our claims are certified. So that's why we went with regenerative organic certification to certify the claim of regenerative. But to, to back up, I would say, as far as these categories go, sustainable has, um, I'd say, a uh, uh, kind of um, amorphous maybe usage and definition. It's like in some way we just want to want to do the right thing and make things better, but there isn't necessarily always the same defining characteristics. So oftentimes we'll maybe when people are talking about sustainable, they're talking about perhaps their energy use or where their energy is coming from or how they're farming with maybe less harmful things than they used to be or something, you know? So it's it's a bit broad, but a bit less defined, I would say. Um, so that I think in some ways works because it opens up that that ability for people to participate in, but it also kind of dilutes it to a point where you're not real sure if it's hot, everybody's sustainable, regardless of what they're actually doing to further these sustainability kind of claims. Um, on the organic side, organic is really quite clear. This is a USDA federally, federally regulated program that has really clear requirements of what you can do, what you can't do, and serious repercussions as well for fraud, right? So if you're claiming you're organic and you aren't, then the federal government has the authority and capacity to enforce some serious repercussions. Um, and so I think it's really a, a strong program in that way. And really looking at how we farm in a way that can increase the health and the life of the soil, um, potentially oftentimes the nutrition, we can't really speak about better for you and wine because it's alcohol, um, but oftentimes, you know, it's it's higher nutrient density and such, and, and some rules around how we treat our animals as well on the organic side. But again, federally regulated, a really serious program. Then we, if we get to regenerative, regenerative with like kind of a small r as an adjective is following now, I'd say similarly to what we've seen in society sustainable or sustainability for the last couple decades. And again, you know, to use your term, <laughs> the the buzz about it, all of a sudden it, sure. it's becoming in some areas, I'd say geographies and demographics, it's becoming this like trendy thing to be regenerative. So now you see a lot of people claiming they're regenerative, but no real codified definition. There's like essentially it somehow we're farming better than we used to. Maybe we're using cover crops. Maybe we're reducing or eliminating tillage. Maybe, but there's there's a lot of ideas, but nothing necessarily codified. So that's why we went with regenerative organic certification. So this certification has a baseline in organic. So we're already starting with an organic certification through the federally re regulated program. Um, and then on top of that, there's basically three pillars. So a, a soil health pillar, an animal welfare pillar, and a social pillar. And what I find really heartening, I would say, about the certification is that we've now brought to the conversation about regenerative farming labor. 
So for the longest time, you know, you've got biodynamic and you've got organic talking about how can we farm without exploiting soil? But, but what regenerative organic certification has brought to the conversation is not only how can we farm without exploiting soil, but also how can we farm without exploiting our animals and our workers? And, and I think that we cannot expect serious change until we realize or remember or acknowledge that our farm workers and people are inextricably linked to the land, right? We, we do not, we don't have a farm without farmers or farm workers. We, we have zero, no matter how automated you are, at some point, farm workers and farmers are crucial to farming. And so this additional pillar that the Regional Organic Alliance has brought, I think is, is critical. And it's also critical that it's a yearly audit. Um, so there, there's no like, yeah, we think we're doing well. Inspector comes on site, audits our books, how we pay our people, how we treat our people, and all the soil health um, tests and such as well. So it's a really extensive yearly audit to, to ensure that what we're claiming is actually what we're doing. So as we wrap up, people are hopefully hungry, they're excited, and they're inspired. Uh, from whether it's a website or social media or something else, how can we learn more about you, Bonterra, the wines, and the, the farm bill, if we can help in any way, but tell us where we should be visiting, where should we be browsing, where should we be shopping? Yeah, 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 that's great. I, I do think our, our website um, has been refreshed, and so there's a fair amount of information now, how to get the wines, you know, if you can't find them locally, you can order from us. And then there's a, a good amount of information as far as the multiple initiatives. We didn't really speak to a lot of the things, you know, we're B Corp, climate neutral, uh, zero waste, organic, like we said, I don't know, there's a whole list of them. So you can certainly learn more there on the website. Um, if you're interested more in the regenerative organic certification, the Regenerative Organic Alliance has an incredible website. So I would go there and learn more about what all those practices are and all the brands. It's a global certification, has surpassed a million acres of certified land. There's hundreds of products now with the license. So it, it's growing quite quickly. Um, and I love to see that. And I, I do think that I should acknowledge the market as far as the marketplace, right? Because what we've seen, and I think probably pushed more from our from our younger demographics is really wanting to know, other than making a profit, what is your business doing for good? You know, what is the positive impact your business is having? And so I think it's really important that these certifications are understood and are known so that people can really support people, businesses that are that are doing a really great job at having a beneficial impact now and into the future.